How's it going, people? Playing some Dragon Ball Minecraft. I like to jokingly refer to it as because this is just Dragon Quest Builders 2. Uh, there was a little demo for it, and I forgot to try it out earlier, so I'm gonna try it out now. We'll see how it is. It'll be a short little stream today, because uh, I do have a I do have a work shift, but we'll see we'll see what happens. Uh, the running theory is that. Robin, I'm reading your uh, your thing now. The running theory is that wildcard Persona users have gray eyes due to, the, due to their ability, but that doesn't uh, take a catchy into account, since he has brown eyes. Well, I guess that theory is debunked then. Time to design your character. Select a gender. Yeah, let's go with the let's go with the dude. All right, hair. I don't even get to. Oh, I could be. Where's where's I could be Super Saiyan Rose. Hey, what's happening, oops? But I want to check and see if I can uh, adjust the sound before I turn the uh, the song, the song request things, the song request songs on. Wait, wait. Now we're really Goku Black. Super Saiyan guy. <laughs> Eyes. Did. You actually thought I was playing Minecraft with a Dragon Ball mod? <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? I, there has to be an actual, like, uh, Dragon Ball mod for uh, for Minecraft. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was. Did, did Goku Black's eyes change color when he was in Rosé? Let me check, let me check, actually. <laughs> Bill Rosé. Yeah, one of these streams I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be playing, I'm gonna have pink hair. I've gone Bill Rosé. Let me look real quick. His eyes are a light gray. Are they? Because I don't actually remember. They change from black to light gray. Uh, it's trying to play some sort of video on the wiki. Yeah, it looks about right. Alright, so let's go and... There we go. There we go. I'm gonna go into this... I'm gonna go into this world. I'm gonna enact the Zero Mortals plan. Enter a name. Uh... exactly okay hold on I think I think I got it where's there it is there it is you bet there's a mod that turns Lucario into Goku I would be shocked if there wasn't one I mean he pretty much runs on the BSA in logic where oh the more the more he gets the shit kicked out of him the stronger he gets are you happy with this character you can change a character's appearance, gender, and name once you reach a certain point in the game. Oh, well then, yeah, sure, fine. I'm happy with whatever. You can now adjust the game's settings. Once you're happy, select Confirm to save your changes and start the game. You'll be able to change these settings later. Alright, uh, we got look up and down slash dash and ride controls. What's up? Oops. Place objects slash use tool controls. Uh, where's, where's sound? Network connection. Show character outline. Vibration feature? No. I am not a fan. Build... Build I Faint Tower. Then jump off into... Jump off it into water. Oh, we need to check and see if there's fall damage. Make a giant diving board. <laughs> oh, here we go. There we go. Now... Now I can turn on the songs. Make a Persona Palace. Im implying that I'm that creative. If anything, I'll probably just build a giant penis. Cause that's what I that's what I'm like. Message speed. We gotta go fast. Yeah, the bell slash the holy grail. Uh, minimap view fixed. I don't like the minimap rotating either. Do we like them big and chunky or do we want retro?
Wait, final boss battle theme. Robin, you're spoiling me to Persona Q2! I can't believe you would do this. <laughs> just a yellow cup. <laughs> yeah, just a yellow... the giant yellow cup in the middle of nowhere. I'll see what Chunky is first. Uh, water Translucency. Please note that will be fixed at low when you play through the main scenario. See th water through glass. Um, yes? Although it's just glass position. <laughs> I'm literally shaking, crying and shaking right now. I wanted to share this, this nice music. It is nice music. Uh, what's this? Choose whether or not position glass panels so they are in direct contact with water in the cases where the panels in the water are adjacent to one another. That sounds pretty good. Oh, there's gonna be an actual Shantae anime? anime? Really? That's cool. Alright, let's get on into the, to the Dragon Quest Builders world of Minecraft. Why does Persona have such great music? No? Now you're confusing me, oops. Venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. Uh-oh. You were referring to the opening animation. Oh, okay. That would be sick, though. It would. That's why I was like, oh, wow. Thus decreed the great and glorious High Priest Hargon. And lo, his minions of mayhem did march out, rank upon rank, to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. That's not nice. Our unholy father then gave us, gave up his mortal form so that Malroth, the master of destruction, might be reborn and the world be consumed by catastrophe. Oh my goodness. Toxic mashup, toxic coffee. Alas, mighty Malroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Erdrick before Hargon's glorious vision could be brought to life. Persona Day. So only Persona music then. No, no toxic mashups. Oh my god, he's dual wielding. He's too powerful. That's clearly the final boss. The moon has waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme, and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. It's always Persona Day. Man, can you guys believe that they made days after, uh, reference after uh, Persona holidays? I didn't realize Persona was that popular. Huzzah! Huzzah! All hail Hargon! Praise be to Malroth! Oh hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from this world to a of oblivion. I feel like you could just, like... You could replace, like, um... Malroth and stuff with Grimma. And it would work as a Fire Emblem thing, too. Lead us ever onwards as we build your dominion of darkness together. Dragon Quest Builders 2. What did I say about the Fire Emblem thing? Rosé. You are the hero who will save this world. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. I don't think I'm going to be rising up any soon. What was up yesterday? What do you mean? Were people fighting over Persona music? Uh, some guy came into the chat complaining that Robin was being repetitive with his Persona music requests. You played it. You played an original in the cover. Yeah, that's literally all he did. But he was playing different songs. 
And I mean, like, the covers sounded different from the, right, the original versions, so I didn't see it as that big of a deal. Yeah, the look on your face. I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero. I know that much. Well, yeah. I'm Rosé. You're one of them builders, right? I learned my lesson from Persona 5. True agree with him, kind of, but... But Persona music is good, so I don't care. Yeah, you're telling fibulas now. I've got it on good authority that... Yeah, good authority that you're a builder, so you can drop the act. Oh no, he's seen through my lie. How is a skeleton smarter than an ace, ace prosecutor? Still, at least you're not a master builder. Turn on thin ice there, skeleton. At least, uh, you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice, but that'll do. I've actually got just the job for a lad like you. Uh-oh. Once you've wiped the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me up on the... on the... what? what? Why is Monster helping me? Oh, I'm in jail. Cool. Press B to jump. Oh my god, this camera is so slow! Uh, miscellaneous settings. Um, camera movement. That's how it moves. I need how fast it moves. Camera rotation speed. There we go. Yes, I'm happy with these settings. There we go, that's better. Boing. If a certain song is played a lot, then it can get repetitive. Well, yeah, absolutely. Like, if it was... If it was the same song over and over again, yeah, I would also have a problem, but it wasn't, so... Like, I didn't see what the issue was. Stairs are no match for you, I see. Yeah, I can use my legs. You just can't keep a good lad down. Can't <laughs> Now, as you'll no doubt have spotted, we're sailing on the open ocean. Oh, ocean, we are. You've got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. What if I, what if I, like, took the sword and then, like, committed mutiny? Take the Megalovania songs, for example. Yeah, that's, that's why I have the, um, the limit on song requests in the first place. Not even get very far anyway. You're nothing but skin and bones. Here, get this down your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. <laughs> I obtained a piece of kelp. Oh, delicious. Rose can't remember when he last ate. The thought of food makes his stomach start rumbling. Edible essentials. Believe it or not, that kelp can be eaten. Select it with the D pad and press X to eat it. Doing so will refill your fullness gauge and replenish some health. Okay, there is a fullness gauge. I have 65% fullness. People play different versions of Megalovania, but it's basically the same song. Pretty much, yeah. Like, when, it, when it's like seven or eight times in a row, yeah, that gets a little grating. That gets, that gets a little grating. Down in one. That kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? Pungent aroma and slimy texture make for a spine-tingling combination. You should thank your lucky stars you got to scuff that uh, scuff such a scrumptious snack, because it'll be the last meal you ever eat. Uh-oh. Yep, you heard me right. You'll be dead soon enough. Well, this is going to be a short stream. <laughs> Don't worry, you won't be shuffling. Off that, eh, you won't be shuffling off this mortal coil just yet. I've got plenty of hard graft for you to be getting on with first. Uh-oh. Complete. Oh. So is he good or bad? I have no idea. I can't get a read on the guy. You can wipe that lily-livered look off your face. I'm not going to send you to the cemetery anytime soon. Like, he's helping me but not attacking you. And he's also, like, talking about how I'm gonna die soon, so I really don't know. 
So long as you've got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep hold of it. But you have to follow my orders to the letter. Okay. So now, for me to take you out. How dare you talk down to a god like that! I'm already spooked to the bones right now, oops. I'm already internally screaming. What's that? You want to know who we are and what you're doing here? Uh, I don't know. If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are without a paddle... What kind of creek? <laughs> I might add. You go and talk to those five monsters beneath the flag over there. Oh my goodness, this frame rate. Hey, hey slime. Hello, human. We're the last surviving members of the Children of Argon, the ones who didn't get squished. For dinner. <laughs> Time for me to take you out. For dinner. Then I'll kill you. With kindness. We're gooing to bring the world to its knees. All in the name of the great and glorious High Priest. I hate him. What's with all this lurking? I'm just salivating at the prospect of squashing you humans once and for all. Slurp, slurp, slurp. I hate him. He's going to be the first to die. Ugh. This ship keeps swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What is that? I don't know where we're sailing to? I don't know. Higher ups would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little Drakki. Why are there two of you? Well, well, if it isn't Mr. Builder, you're only an apprentice, but you're prancing around like you own the place. <laughs> Huntity, you can't go anywhere these days without bumping into an insolent little builder hell-bent on undoing all our hard work. Wait, how did he pronounce the F and of? The wealth going down in the pan. That's the sir. Our only... Our only choice is to eliminate process some builders like you one by one. Hee hee hee. Does he have a list too? You're that apprentice builder that we nabbed in Catlin, aren't you? I must admit, I feel feel pangs of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know that you'll end in that your end is nigh. <laughs> Poor guys have a list. Slime, though, Slime has no excuse for making all those puns, but these poor guys have a lisp. Alright, who are you? Middenhall, Kenok, Moonbrook. From forth these three kingdoms did come and hated heroes, the scions of Erdrick, and laid almighty hard on low. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal forms to that Malroth, the Lord of Destruction. Isn't that Baal? Or Baal? I could have swore he was he was in Diablo. Not not I mean I thought yeah, I thought it was Bale, Lord of Destruction. That was an entire expansion pack for Diablo 2. Alas, he too was vanquished. Well yeah. Yo, careful. Careful, mortal. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say. Hargon's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day we will reduce this world to ruin. That's my thing. I am here to enact the Zero Mortals plan. So that Grimma, Lord of Destruction, could be born. But alas, he too was vanquished. <laughs> like immediately after being born, he got murdered to death. Can you believe these non-believers? So you talk to the rest of the crew, eh? You idiot little blighter, aren't you? So now you know, we're the last survivors of the Children of Hargon, loyal servants of the mighty master of destruction himself. That means you builders are our sworn enemies. I careful, mortal. We're sailing the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else who gets in our way. You also forgot uh, you were at your Nana's and she revealed she had a PS1. It's really not that hard to set up. Check and see if you have Symphony in the Night, and then play the hell out of that. Eh? You wanna know what we're gonna do with all these builders? We're gonna build them a bridge to death. Only the higher-ups know for sure. 
but I'll make no bones about it. I reckon you lot are up for the chop. They're gonna build that diving board that uh, Oops was talking about. Still, that doesn't mean we can't make the most out of what little time you've got left. Just be thankful you can be of some benefit as your final moment draws ever closer. She also had a, a Sega Genesis. Listen up, Builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars, or worse, we'll do as I say. What could be worse? So here's the deal. Last night's storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make things ship shape around here again. Well, that's what I do. I'm a builder. To start with, I want you to break up all the driftwood strewn about the deck and bring me the wood when you're done. Go on, chop chop. Uh, each piece of driftwood is marked with the quest marker. Run up to one and press Y to punch it. And this is something useful. Oh my god, this is just Minecraft. We're punching wood. It is just Minecraft. What is it? What's so important, Robin? What is that? Well, well, my deck looks in much better shape than when we picked up on that pet, now that you picked up all that wood. No flies on you, eh? Still, I suppose we can give it a chance to save your sorry skin would tend to give you a kick up of the... Cockix? I actually don't know how to pronounce that. I need to watch it. You wanna know why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, as a sworn servant of the Master of Destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with your kind. Considering the state of my ship, I got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder or anything. <laughs> Baka. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day, so I'm sure it's fine. You wouldn't forsake me for a little thing like this. <laughs> right? Pause that song and watch that. What is so imp Pause the song. There's literally 10 seconds left on it. <laughs> what is this? Zamasu playing trumpet full version. <laughs> what? Why is he playing... Why is he playing Gourmet Race? And why is he playing it to himself? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't, I don't, Robin. <laughs> How did you find this? <laughs> Zamasu at Zamasu after being erased. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay, you said. This plan is infallible, you said. <laughs> no way the mortals will defeat us, you said. I still want to know why it's the gourmet race theme. If I watch to the end, it gets funnier. Well, this is the thanks for watching thing, so... Oh my god, he has two now. Why does he have to? <laughs> Alright. Won't get erased by the Omni King, you say? <laughs> you said. <laughs> and he just like... He just like... Skips away. Oh my goodness. Zamasu's plan really didn't work out in the end. Unfortunate. Anyway, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. If you want to cling onto your life for a little longer, I suggest you continue working like a dutiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing things up. Just be careful that what you bash doesn't bash you back. Loudly trumpets away from himself. <laughs> You're an odd one. <laughs> what makes you say that? Since the moment I let you out of that cell, you've been scurrying about my deck and chatting with my crew without a game. I've been chatting with the crew because you asked me to. Do you have... Well, actually, he's a skeleton, so no, he wouldn't have a brain. If anything, I'd wager you were actually enjoying this. Maybe? There must be something wrong with you. I can't explain it any other way. 
I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey mush? Faced with the same fate, most prisoners would be scared witless, but not you. You what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you? It seems you aren't scared of us at all. I better keep you busy or who knows what you might try and pull. Maybe, maybe I'll build a sword and commit mutiny. Luckily, there's plenty for you to be uh, getting on with. For starters, some of the boys on deck have got jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you've sorted them out. Oh, okay. Who needs jobs? Give job. I fell down a hole. <laughs> Let's not fall down the hole this time. I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scrabble around the deck, greedily pocketing and pocketing all the wood you can find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed all of our navigation lights overboard. Such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish for you to use the wood collected to make some new torches. You see that worn out workbench over there? I see it. What do you want me to do with it? Use it to make five torches. Here, I believe you'll need this foil to craft them. What about, what about charcoal? Once you have the torches, you must put them back in their proper positions. Five blocks will be your side. There's one by the workbench and four more around the stairs that will lead below decks. Place one torch upon each block. When do I commit mutiny? Do not fail me, Builder. Craft the five torches and put them in place. Turn to me when you have finished the task. Yeah, I... He literally just told me, game. I don't need a tutorial for it. Torches can be placed on top of other blocks. Neat. Okay. So... There we go, okay. And then, just put them in the Persona, that MP3. Persona 5.MP3 is just uh, Ryuji and Morgana constantly reading at each other. And I did your job. I think you've done exactly as I asked. The guiding flames burn brightly as before. For a ship such as ours, they can do with, uh, with being a touch more sinister. I do say so myself, but I shan't complain. The deck is illuminated once more. I must say, your, pro your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters. You will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others aboard the ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray. You know, for dual wielding, I thought it would be a little more intimidating. Oh, another Skelling Man. Persona 3 female protagonist theme is better than the male protagonist theme. I've never heard of it. I never heard either of them, so I can't comment either way. But if it isn't the so-called builder, anyone think you own the place the way you're strutting about the deck? What's with the attitude? I'm doing the app. You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders? You want me to give you a job to do? Uh, okay, why not? You can re help uh, me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good-for-nothing ship, as long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. I've always wondered whether builders can fight. Finally, I can commit mutiny! Male theme is in Smash. Oh, that's the... Baby, 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 baby! That one? How do you feel about going mano y mano with a monster? Or you! Fancy taking a swing at the kid? Try not to kill him! Alright, better put them dukes up. I warn you though, that skeleton soldier's a proper headcase. Come and find me after the fight's finished. If you can still walk... The skeleton attacks! Fuck you! Ow. Okay. Ooh! The footsies! The skeleton is defeated. Mass destruction is the male theme. Wiping all out is the female theme. Alright, well, I never heard uh, wiping all out, so. Unless that was the song that just played. 
Well, you're a better boxer than you look. I'll give it that. Still, the only thing those pathetic punches of yours hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised. You're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. It doesn't exactly bode well for you in the future career, does it? That's why I need to craft a great sword and mutiny. Look, you don't have a future to speak at, of at all. Alright, be off with you. Go and tell the bosun what a weakling you are. Yeah, I'm so weak that I beat the shit out of a skeleton with my bare hands. Wait, what does that say? What does that say? What did he say? I saw something. I saw something. It said you fight worse than something. This is a great mashup. It isn't. I don't know what this is. I see Toxic Coffee Britney Spears mashup. You fight like a cow, a cow's cadaver. Two builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. That's because I don't... You would have smashed them to smithereens if you had a weapon? Yeah, I need I need a sward. A likely story. You're going to bash him upside the skull with one of them torches. <laughs> You're such a wizard. Whipping up? Don't make me laugh. What's that book you got there? It's a book of recipes. Idea. Rosé learns a new weapon, a new recipe. A cypress stick, a broken branch riddled to work as a weapon. But I want great sword. Don't just stand there smirking. You tell me what's so funny. I'm going to make sword. You just worked out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never. You tell me that builders can invent things as well as make them? <sighs> Their power is unparalleled. We need to stop them before they continue. Don't just stand around there looking, uh, around looking formless. Put your money where your mouth is and make this cypress stick then. You know what a workstation is, right? And one more thing. Once you've made it, don't forget to equip it. Well, there's no use otherwise. Yeah, let me just... Give me, give me, give me a couple, give me a minute. Alright, build. Let me make stick. Stick acquired. Uh, press X to wield it. Okay. Stick acquired. Here, I've got the Cypress stick. The boy genius returns. Cypress, Cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What do you say? Fancy another crack at the old bag of bones now that you got a weapon? It was a response to something I said. Probably about um, the... What was it? Wiping all out thing. Yeah, let me, let me smack him upside the head. That's the spirit. I want to watch the rotter try and put himself back together once you're through with him. Annihilate it. A bone-crushing defeat. Let me turn that down a little bit. I don't know if I can pick myself up after this one. Go on then, lad. Go and brag about beating me to the bosun. I killed your stupid crew. Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Just look at the state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. Yeah, he's pretty dead, huh? You what? I feel a bit sorry for him. I don't feel sorry. He's a skelly man. He's spooky. That's a new one. I'll wager no human never shed a tear for a monster before. The music was perfectly timed. <laughs> was it? I didn't even notice. I was just pressing button. I'll wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. The moment I turned to fight him, uh, the final boss music kicked in. <laughs> That's amazing. Perfecto. Anyway, thanks for that, Builder. It certainly helped pass the time, if nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You Builders are useless in a fist fight. But with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. Is that a challenge? I'll beat the true final boss with my fists. Play Neko Para Part 3, it's on Switch. What?
What the fuck? No, you're lying to me. You're you're lying to me. There's no way. There's no fucking way. You're not done for today just yet. Not by a long shot. I've got a feeling in my bones there's someone else on board who needs a helping hand. You're lying to me, Perfecto. They're, why would they put... Why would they put a porn game on the Switch? That's a kapow moment if you've ever seen one. My, my. You've been a busy little boy, haven't you? First you made those torches, and now a cypress stick. It's $15. I'm still of the opinion that you're lying to me, Perfecto. But one can hardly call oneself a builder without one's tools at the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? I have a book. The only thing you're carrying is that sacred stick. You haven't a single tool upon your person. I've got a book. That's my tool. All three parts for $45. I'm still, I'm still, I still don't believe you. I think we ought to do something about that, hadn't we? I confiscated this pair of gloves from, that, from the builder in the brig below deck. Now they are yours. With these equipped, you'll be capable of hoisting up a whole host, whole, whole, eh, whole host of objects without the need to smash them first. Ideal for organizing your articles in an orderly fashion. Without further ado, take your newfound gloves. Gather up all the barrow strewn higgly piggly about the deck, and place them in the mat beside me. Give gloves. Gloves acquired. Pick stuff up and plonk it down. <laughs> Work, damn it, clip. Use the gloves to move objects from one place to another. Press ZR to pick something up, or put it down. Press Y while holding something to rotate it. Give barrel. Come here, barrels. No, barrel! Barrel! Can I make the barrel roll? Can I do a barrel roll? Oh no, my hunger is at 54%. I'm running out of hunger. Oh no, it's at 53% now. Oh, I need to find food and fast. Not as perfect. What? They're all they're all on the mat. What do you want from me? Go to Discord in general. You photoshopped that. You photoshopped that. There's no way. There's no way. I can't save yet. I can't save yet. The second I can save, I'm going to go to the e-shop and prove you wrong. Prove you for the liar that you are. Wonderful work. Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you'll agree that a pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any budding builder. I was under the impression that the youth of today were nothing but a swarm of work-shy ostrils. Music fits so well. Go to the Switch eShop. I will go after I can save, but based on your showing just now, I may have to reassess my stance. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you'll always be a builder, the eternal enemy of our exalted order. Music fits so well for what I'm feeling right now. It does. I fear your time among us will be uh, but short. But your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. Quest complete. It would appear you have attended to everyone's errands for now. Hurry along and inform the good captain that you require some more backbreaking chores. Hey, I did all the job. Can I have food? It's in re recent releases, a little after Mario Maker 2. Alright, I'm gonna prove you wrong, Perfecto. Not bad, not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked of you. Nice to see a human working his fingers to the bone for us monsters. Air Builder, why are you an eternal enemy? Because these are apparently the bad guys. They seem pretty nice for bad guys, though. 
and without a word of complaint, neither. If I doubted it before, I'm certain now. You actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? Still, I won't be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Do you enjoy building things? Do you like Minecraft? Of course you do. It's what gets you out of bed in the morning. I can tell from the look on your fleshy face. You've got all the makings of a master crafter. That's why we can't let you live. Uh-oh. Mutiny! Well, what with you builders being our mortal enemies and everything, I can't exactly have you running bow and stern building like Milio, now can I? You can, though. I'm sorry to say it, kid, but I'm going to have to sever that smiling skull from your shoulders right now. Mutiny! Just tickling your ribs. Oh, it was just a joke. It was just a prank, bro. Don't look so scared. I'm not really going to lock your noggin off. Well, as long as you stay on my good side, it is. It was only prank, bro. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you got what it takes to be crack to be a cracking, eh, cracking little cabin boy. And what's more, I like the cut of your jib. What do you say, laddie? Will you join my skeleton crew? Hashtag, how about you let him join you? You don't have to say anything. I can tell you're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. What's with that big book you're looking around? What's in it? I've never seen anything like it before. Uh, there's words in it. Uh-oh. Rain. Where does rain come from? The hard reads. That's why you play the tactician. Looks like you have to tell me later, laddie. Looks like there's another storm rolling in. He really does not like rain, does he, huh? I... An apprentice builder. You will do nicely. Um... Who talking to me? Uh, there we go. This is your world to create, and yours to destroy. Right above Nekopara? What? For the triple nose for Ratu. I'm still sore about that, Robin. Now come to me, my child. I often jump after I get nose for Ratu. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that too, rewatching the VOD. Oi, cloth ears! What are you gawking at? Don't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump to, uh, below decks and get into the hole. It's far too dangerous for up here for a land lover like you. Is a game called Furwind and it looks like a fucking furry made it? Now. Oops. Are you posting your original visual novels onto the Nintendo eShop? What the heck's going on? And I often try and wave. I can't believe I'm dead. Captain, come to the hold quickly. We're in deep goo goo down here. Blimey, I don't like the sound of this. Hold tight, I'm on my way. Guys, help, I'm dead. You alright there, builder? I can't be stopped to help some human. I gotta get to the hold. No, please help. Please. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I know for a fact you did. King Furry. Argon, preserve us. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your bony backside in here pronto. I need your help. I, I can't. I'm busy being dead. Ew, a dragon's balls. <laughs> How's it going, video game freak? Over here, Builder. Uh-oh. There's a hole in the ship. What took you so long? I was busy being dead. What's your problem? I've got bad news, Builder. We've been swept right into a reef and the rock's gone clean through the hole. If we don't fix this fast, we'll be heading down to Davy Jones' locker. It's okay, all we have to do is talk about Mermaid Man and Barnacle, Barnacle Boy for hours on end and he'll let us leave. I don't know if this will work, but try cramming a crate into that hole. You got a pair of gloves, don't you? Use them! 
jump. Sinking ship solved. That was the worst joke you've ever made. You'll ever make. I don't believe you. I believe you're going to make horse jokes. There's another... Oh, it's the stream notification thing. That was a closer shave than I'd have liked. But you did it. You saved my... Oh, throw me a bone, not more holes. Oh my god. We're taking on more water. Thank god it just immediately evaporates as soon as... As soon as I put in a crate. You gotta do something. Use, use some more crates to plug up all those holes. Alright, so there's gonna be like nine holes. I can tell because there's nine crates. Oh my god, the, the slime is drowning. What if I don't plug this one up? What if I just let the slime drown? Find a save point. I'm trying, Perfecto. You meant worse, like with language. You're a lifesaver. Builder or no, I owe you one. But our run-in with that rock has made mincemeat of my hole. The next wave that hits us could... You immediately go for the microphone, Chloe. I knew it! It's a race against time, Builder. Cram some more crates in those holes and hurry! I gotta plug these holes. Hurry, Builder, use those crates! Give me crate! I need crate! Oh! There we go. Now, where's the last three holes? Oh. Oh, it's done. Shored up my ship good and proper, Builder. I don't know what where we'd be without you. <laughs> Just don't do it. Yeah, I should've I should have let the slime drown for all those terrible puns. He's gonna be the first to die when I commit mutiny. She'll hold for now, but who knows how much long Oh, throw me a bone, we're done for. Holy moly! Look at that one! We don't have any crates big enough to plug up a hole that size. This is it, Builder. It was nice knowing you. Don't forget me, Bill. Don't forget me! Ah, uh, come on, Ocean. Think you can take me? Why am I blonde? Why am I blonde all of a sudden? Uh-oh. He can't do it. And now he's going... Now he's dead. I can't believe male NPC is dead. Goku. Well, I didn't name myself Rosé. What is this? Oh, it's, it's just the title screen. I went Super Saiyan, but I was already Super Saiyan Rosé. I mean, unless this is just, uh, like... You know, oh, buy the full game now. Like, I figured they would have given us, like, a little bit more, because Nintendo uh, demos are usually pretty good with uh, the amount of content they let you play in, uh, in demos. But this, is, this looks like the, um, the little thing that they, like, the little, uh, what you call it, video they played when they first, like, showed it off. He's dual wielding and he has magic. Paladins can't dual wield. Bye now. Oh, it says saving, actually. It said saving in the corner, but I think my, uh, my webcam's covering it up, because it says loading now.
I just want to check and make sure. This looks like a video to plug it, like in uh, Star Allies demo. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. What's wrong, Chloe? Just want attention? Is that it? Is that all it is? Oh, no, there's actually more. I'm on, I'm on a ship. Not a ship, a, a beach. A shore. Rosé awakens on a sand, on the sandy shore. Come on over here, Chloe. There you go. It seems he has washed up on a desert island, along with the wreckage of the skeleton ship. My favorite game, black screen. <laughs> but wait, there's more! He decides to take a look around to see what he can see. Thank you for playing the demo of Dragon Qu Please note that any save data created after this point cannot be used in the release version of the game. In the release version, this island will be reset to its default state, but your system save data and any snapshots you have taken will be carried over. Okay, so... Is there anything that I can, like, do here? I mean, I've got the, um... I've got the... the stick. Oh, finally, I can eat. Consume. Let's see if I can, like, find anything on this island here. You can mine for diamonds. Whoop. No, I can't. I can't mine rock. Can I pick up rock? I can pick up rock. I wonder what happens like if you actually hit zero percent food. Do you uh, do you actually start like taking damage? Sixty nine. I had sixty nine. I had sixty nine food. Oh, it looks like I'm discovering like more of the thing, kind of like in uh, like a map from Minecraft. But oh, it looks like there's a little thing over there. Make a pickaxe. Harvest wood. Hey, treasure chest. Give chest. Suddenly, Rosé hears a voice. Stop! You have to pay fifty nine ninety nine to continue. The whole place is deserted. What is? Where is this place anyway? How did I even get here? I'm a fit. I'm officially saved. The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. Oh yeah, I guess I should uh, save and then check and make sure that Perfecto is lying to me. Rosé might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. What is in there? I need full hunger. 100 food. Alright. Builderpedia. Bed? There aren't any recipes to display. Oh. Alright. Uh, save. There we go. Yo, go ahead and save. Does the chest contain diamond horse armor? Save successful. All right, all right. Now to now to prove that Perfecto is a is a liar. Hold on. Let me just start up the eShop here. I'm still having the screen black so that y'all can't see my password because that's confidential information All right i'm in okay we all know you're doing this. Well, yeah, I'm doing this because my because my what is Nekopara? All right, I'm just gonna straight up search for it. It's a recommended word.
Hang on, hang on. Oh my god. A famous PC adventure game that has sold over 2 million... 2 million copies? Main page? Oh. I think I think he said it was under like recent releases, just a bit after um Mario Maker 2. Yeah, there's Mario Maker. Uh Terraria. Oh my god, it's right there. It's just advertised right there. On the on the eShop page. And That's like a good chunk of the Switch user base. Furwind is a colorful pixel art style action platformer game that evokes the challenging classics of the old days. Embark on this epic adventure in which a little fox will fight the ominous darkness that is invading its world. Okay, hold on. I need to scroll down. Where's where's the partial nudity? This situation is a big oof. I seem really upset. I am upset. If you have epilepsy, epilepsy or have had seizures or other unusual reactions to flashing lights or patterns, consult a doctor before playing video games. After I complete the demo, what will I do? Uh, if I still have time, I'll probably tr play a little uh, Mario, a couple Mario Maker levels. Wasn't there a bath scene in the first volume? Yeah. But uh, my point is partial nudity. So it probably doesn't have the actual, like, you know. Unless... Do they have, like... They don't have a DLC page. 2.6 gigabytes? How? It's a sign. Oh no. <laughs> you're not you're not encouraging me to play this too, are you, Robin? How dare you? How dare you say those words to me? Supported play modes TV, docked, and gamepad. Don't good. because it makes me uncomfortable. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Dragon Quest. I don't I don't need I don't need that stuff in my life. Robin is going to be able to actually to see me play Nekopara. No, he's not because I'm not going to play it. <laughs> All right, dig through sand. I got seaside sand. Get someone else to play Nekopara for me? I'm not going to put them through that. What kind of person do you think I am? What kind of horrible person do you think I am? Isle of Awakening. The land of infinite opportunity. Okay. Yes, very cool. I'm just I'm just carrying this big old block of sand. Um, where's the settings? I need to turn the sound the music back up. There we go. I'm happy with these settings. 
Alright. There's a quest over here. The sky is such a strange color. I've never been outside before. Have I died and gone to heaven? Or hell, more likely. What's that? Huh? What was that noise? Hey, Spikey, who the heck are you? How dare you, mortal. Finally, a live one. Say, you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would you? Uh, ship crash? Turns music up, mining away. Oh, oh, hold on. There we go. You were on a ship that you were on the ship that sank, right? And then you woke up on this beach. How come you didn't cark it too? What's your story? Stay a while and listen. Your name's Rose, and you're an apprentice builder. Huh? Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyway, my name's Mal. Guys, that's the name of the bad guy. I should kill him with my stick right here. You wanna see something real gruesome? No! What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. Guys. Guys. That's the name of the guy. I feel like I should murder him right now. What's up, Robin? What I wish it on a catchy. Yes. Make him suffer. Wait, I need I need my kelp. I am coming over here. I am very slow. Oh, it's this way. Dude, dead bodies. Now that's what I call dead in the water. That's mean. Bet you'll never see... Bet you've never seen anything like this. What, a dead body? I've seen a dead skeleton. It seems like you and me are the only survivors from the shipwreck. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board? But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... Cut the shocked look in a catchy face. Cough splutter. Like, it's just, it's just a shocked Pikachu face. It's just a shocked Pikachu face, but with a catchy. What the? Hey, that girl isn't dead after all. Maybe we should get her out of the water? She sounds like she's in a pretty bad way. We should uh, do the right thing and put her out of her misery. I think I should kill him. What the hell is this shit? I don't trust him. Also, what's this? Talk. There's no response, it's just a corpse. I... It's the slime! Fuck you, slime! A wave breaks on the shore and washes the body out to sea. That's what he gets! Urgh. Gasp! Where am I? You're in hell. How did I get here? By dying. Oh no, it's Amasu! You're pirates, aren't you? Filthy, freebooting brigands who shall take me captive and demand a ransom for my safe return. I just want a bigger stick. How does she even know that door was there? She got a mouth on her, has it what? Oh, it it's putting water particles. On the, on the camera when it goes underwater. Who fucking plays this shit? And then he gets to... that scene. 
that's exactly how he reacts. There she goes. Oh yeah, there we go. You should make a fucking Akechi Let's Play stream as a joke. That would actually be kind of funny, like, if you just do, uh, like, your voice acting. Just doing stuff like that. There's only one good way to make sure she shuts up for good. Why can't I kill him? He's obviously going to become the bad guy at the end. There's not even a roof! There's not even a roof! Get away from me, you villains! If you're gonna take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how I got here. Well, we're on an island, with nothing but sand. It's rough, coarse, and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Rocks and a few corpses here to keep us company as well. Must have washed up in here with Rosé when your ship sank. Just a moment. Do I know you? Yes, I remember. You're that builder from the ship. The one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters barked orders at you. I did job, and I got kelp. It was a very good job. I know you were in cahoots with them. So that means this is all your fault. Well, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to build. I'm going to go play Minecraft. Here we go. Here's the jam. We're going to make the things we need to survive while we wait and re while we wait for a rescue party? No, I said I'm gonna go play Minecraft. Alright, even a ranked amateur like yourself should be able to use that worn out workbench outside to make the most basic essentials. I'm Lulu, by the way. Wasn't that the Black Mage from Final Fantasy X? Now, what will we need to hold out until help arrives? Let me see. Uh, kelp? Make a room. We need shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before then. The walls must be at least two blocks high, and we'll need a door for getting in and out. We use this, this old shack. It's rather worse for wear. Uh, but I'm sure you can fix the place up. You can salvage some of the decking from the wreckage and patch up any holes. Just use those gloves of yours to pick it up. You don't have to worry about splinters that way. Cook food on the bonfire. We have kelp? Don't be so freaking like, needy. I have no idea how long it'll take for a search party to locate us. Uh, so we'll need to find enough sustenance to tide us over until we're rescued. They're found to be Scallywinkle or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them a good grilling on the bonfire first. She's very pushy. <laughs> you will dress up as a catchy. You'll do it for the meme. Do it, do it, Robin. Do it for the memes. I need you to make a five-star hotel and cook me a filet mignon to absolute perfection, along with making me a fine glass of wine. Luckily for us, there's plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels from the shipwreck lying about. We may as well put them to, to, uh, to use. Build some beds. Just sleep on the floor! Don't be so demanding. This is the male protag song. Now I can't be expected to put my head down for the night on these lumpy old rocks. Yes, you can. I need a proper bed if I'm gonna get my easy sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of building four posters. Four posters? So we shall have to make do with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the room when you're done. All with a worn-out workbench. Yeah, not even a proper workbench. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, bossy boots. I agree with the with the villain. Who made you the leader here anyway? Oh, pipe down, you Neanderthal. You don't even have the common decency to wear a proper shirt. Ooh. Fucking burned. Don't think you're impressing anyone with those oh-so-mighty muscles. Those chisel abs. Say that again and I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. Oh, Builder, you'll do these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from this savagery? I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I want to see how this... I honestly want to see how she reacts if I say no. 
Velvet Room attendant in the back is Theodore. Oh, oh, and the, um, and the little image for this song. This is also pretty good. Wait, I'm supposed to be the villain. Yeah, pretty much. Here, I'm gonna be the villain. No. Pardon, I couldn't hear you for the waves crashing against the shore. I'll ask again. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's, it's gonna pull this nonsense. Okay, fine, I'll do it. That's wonderful. I knew you'd do exactly as I asked. You can consider these little tasks as training exercise if you like. Then, when you become a fully-fledged builder, you'll have me to thank for it. I'm not going to thank you. Training exercises? Who does this girl think she is? I know, right? Remember what I said before about putting her out of her misery? How about we put her up? Why does Spacebar skip the songs? That is so weird. Why does why does Spacebar skip songs? Um, hang on. Let me. Let me fix this. Let me fix this. Hold on. And I'll skip ahead like half a minute. Remember what I said? Yeah, how about we put her out of our misery instead? Let the mission begin! Alright. So we need a room, we need food. That girl really gives me the hump. Phrasing. First she won't stop whinging. Then the moment she wants something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder at the end of the day, not her lackey. Yeah, yeah, I know she's stranded here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be just a, such a softy sack case, but I need the XP. She's a castaway at the end of the day, same as us. You gotta look out for number one, that's my motto. You can stop being the villain anytime you want. All Malaloth has to say is, wait, well were you in the pr on the promotional video? I mean, she probably was. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. You know how you said you were a builder? Yeah. Is that, like, something to do with a duck's... What does that even mean? Are you referring to a duck's bill? Whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you, but only so I don't have to hang around with her. You decided which of her errands you'll do first? It was up to me. I'd mend those walls while we're here. Just stuff some planks in the holes. And hey, presto, build it. We've buildered ourselves a brand new room, right? To be honest, I blanked out on the rest of her requests. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. Or I can just look at the quest log on the side of the screen. I mean, that works. Oh, all I have to do is... I thought I wanted me to make, like, six complete rooms. Wait, did it not... Did it not put in, uh... The Builder's theme? I was pretty sure I, uh... Re-requested that. There it is. Okay. It'll be after this. But I legit thought it wanted me to make six complete rooms. I was like, oh, this is gonna take a while. Room. I did it. I made room. Rosé, you repaired my room. Your room? Now I have somewhere to hide in safety should monsters attack. We don't even have a roof. How are you gonna hide from them? 
Not bad for a base apprentice. Just so you know, a room must have a door, and walls are at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. Okay, but what about a roof? Anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay. And you two are very welcome to stop by at any time you like. If we weren't welcome, I would commit mutiny. Mission com- Mission Compre! Well, she seems pretty satisfied with the new room. Right, next up is dinner. She wanted us to cook some of those uh, scallywinkle things on the bonfire, didn't she? Is that something we can do? I mean, maybe. I have idea. Rosé learns a new recipe. That's it! I've come up with a new recipe! A big bundle of branches that burns brightly can be used to cook food. What's the deal with that book? I need to I need to actually just pull this up. So that every time I come up with a new recipe. Like I can just play it. There we go. I've got I've got it. So every time every time I come up with a new recipe. Why is it so quiet? Why is this so quiet? I'm upset. That's such a quiet version of it. You just invented bonfires? Now you can build one if you have enough materials? All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn-out workbench. Well, if it's oil you need, just call America. I'll run this out of a slime that got in my way earlier. Here. Three splats of oil. All you need now is wood. Girl said you can get some barrels of driftwood, uh, get some from the driftwood and broken barrels on the beach. Whatever that means. How wood? Play the ear rape version of it. That way it'll be proper loud. When in doubt, every video has an ear rape version of it. Better get that bonfire built. No use starving her. It'll only put her in an even worse mood than she's already in. Alright, let's... I still have wood, don't I? Yeah. I got plenty of wood. And what if I... We need to be kept warm. Was that you made? It's hot as heck. It spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. Are you sure you know what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? But that's the best part of fire, playing around with it. Being, doing dangerous, stupid stuff with it. You can use a bonfire to cook food. I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, now I just need to go find a scallywinkle. Excuse me, Scallywinkles. Just a corpse. Congrats, you made a furnace. No, it's a bonfire. It's different. Everyone is dead. Man, this is just like the World of Light opening all over again. You mean bomb? Wait, he's going... He's getting me wood. I still don't trust him. Give me rock. It won't give me rock. Where's the where's the scallywinkle? Where is Scallywinkle? I guess I'll just go off exploring and see if I can find Scallywinkle. I mean that's what Minecraft's all about, right? Hey, Rosé, I want to ask you something. I keep hearing about making and materials and builders, but what, is that, what does any of that actually mean? Uh, I build things by making them out of materials. You smash things you find here and there to get materials which you use to make new stuff. That's what being a builder is all about. I get it. I don't get it. 
How come I don't know already? Look, they might be ten a penny where you come from. But I'm telling you, I've never met a builder before. Ten a penny. Instead of a dime a dozen. This is also super quiet. What gives? Anyway, when I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful, builder-free childhood. Sounds like a horrible childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. Uh... Is that a good thing, though? You know those scallywinkles Lulu was asking for? There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them all for ourselves. Yeah, I still haven't found one. Wait, wait, is that one? I think that's one. Yeah, that's one. Give. I got Scallywinkle. What's that funny looking thing you got there? It's a Scallywinkle. Wouldn't be one of those Scallywinkles that girl was jabbering on about by any chance. Seems pretty fishy to me. But um, If we ate one of them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks till the break of dawn. That's something I'd rather avoid. Yeah, so we cook it. Dum dum. It's like this man's never heard of cooking either. Oh, slimes. Screw you, slimes. Why does he do more damage with my fi with his fists than I do with my stick? This is some bull honky. That's some gosh darn bull honky. Befriend the bad guy. We'll, we'll convince him not to destroy the world with the power of friendship. That's how we'll win. Take this, you monsters! Become the evil. That too. You can always do that too. I can never do, like... Like, for games like Fallout and stuff like that, I could never do, like, an evil playthrough because I feel too bad about doing that stuff. You just found diamonds in actual Minecraft? Oh, Did you find enough to make a pickaxe? You don't belong in this world. You had a catchy's bond of friendship at rank 8 when he shot you. Yeah, that's, that's true. Since Robin and Richter have the same voice actor, they do? Befriending him didn't help in any way. No, it really didn't. Alright, now we cook. Oh, I have to I have to place it and then cook. Careful, Rose. The scary winkle just fell into the fire. That must be how you cook it. The builders can make food too, huh? You all know what to do in Minecraft right now. Mine diamonds. 12 total and 2 emeralds. Are emeralds good? Just Robin will have their disjoints. Oh my god. That would be terrifying. Yeah, you just plop it on into the fire there. That's how you cook. All you know is you want to play Minecraft. It'll be a little while till that Skellywinkle's completely cooked. Let's go and look for some more materials while we wait. Oh, gosh darn it. Can I not add things to it? I can't. Well, that's gonna be obnoxious. Unless... I should've just plopped it outside instead. Emeralds are rarer than diamonds, uh, but they're lame, so whatever. Rosé makes his first seared scallywinkle. You don't belong in this world, Grandma. Robin calmed out. Shut up, Crom, I'm fucking ending this shit. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. It was not by my hands that I am once again given flesh. I was brought here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Does Grimma steal people's souls? That 
an aroma. Is it the smell of a succulently seared scallywinkle? You must have it. While talking about Minecraft, why doesn't, uh, oops, join Flaps Realm? Hand this over? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Om nom 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 nom. Scent of seaside combined perfectly with this gravely crunch of the sand grains. Simply irresistible. Grimma basically stole Phil, uh, stole Phil Robbins. You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Yeah, he, he triple he triple Nosferatu'd me. You don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywinkles, you know. If you see anything else that looks vaguely edible, check them in on bonfire. I find a cooked meal much more filling than raw fare, and it makes me feel healthier too. Just remember that cookery is all about experimentation. Mission Comfrey! How rude of me. I just realized I never asked your names. I'm Rosé, mortal. Rosé and Malroth, you say. I know you're a builder, Rosé, but what do you do, Malroth? I punch! I'm actually... I don't know. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory's completely blank. Well, well, an apprentice, an apprentice builder and his amnesiac friends. What an unexpected partnership. We're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like him, you must be dreaming. Oh, okay. He's like that. Speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day of almost dying. And that seared skelly one for us filled me up nicely. So, Rosé, how's progress going with the straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really rather ready to take the hay. Yeah, about that. Can I remove your last song? Uh, this one? Or is there something else? Because, uh... The only thing I see right now is reach out to the truth, and then there's nothing else in the queue. Hold on. That's it. I've come up with a new recipe. There we go. That's a bit of a louder version. You meant reach out, cause Goku Black. Okay, I'll just play the Goku Black thing then. Basic bedding made from dried weeds plonked in a pile. Can be slept on. Here we go. He's got his book out again. What have you invented this time? I've invented beds! Reckon you can make a straw bedding out of dry grass? Well, I think I saw some drying grasses. Something dr uh, drying grassy along the shore to the west. Could that be what you're looking for? Hang on. Move fire over here. And then place the Scallywinkle and cook. Collect that. There we go. Alright, let's go let's go find Let's go find some uh Wait, can I can I cook the kelp too? I need to make more bonfires. So, slimes, prepare for dead. Loudly exterminates all mortals. I'm enacting the zero slimes plan right now. I'm gonna move that up to the zero mortals plan later on. You wanna see the world burn? Wait, that's a, that's a song that you requested? Zero Slimes plan. This is just the first step in the Zero Mortals plan. 
specifically because I need the oil so I can make more bonfires. So I can make more food. Alright, I've got enough for like three more uh, bonfires, but you know what? Let's go, let's go with some more. Let's go with some more. All slimes must face my holy wrath. Well, they faced my holy wrath. You just request whatever video comes in your head. Oh, there's just a there's just a piece of kelp over there. And there was I want to see the world burn. Well, fitting since I'm making a bunch of fire. Can I move? Can I move the workbench? Actually, can I move this? I can't. Well, this sucks. There we go. More, more bonfires. Okay. Uh, that there. Did I never cook the other Scallywinkle? I never cooked the other Scallywinkle. Oh my god. Well, that's upsetting. Alright, cook that guy. I vanquished the slimes. Instead of vanquishing the darkness, I vanquish the slimes. Okay, I'm cooking. I'm cooking kelp. Whoops. Cook kelp. I want to see what I get from it. Give me scallywinkles. I'm just gonna get a pile of ash. First crispy kelp. Uh, it's in the Builderpedia items. Uh, <laughs> total acquired, 1%. Oh, boy. Uh, there we go. Show high description. A simple and healthy snack of roasted seaweed and salt. Stores fullness by 15% and 10 HP. Okay, that's actually, that's actually useful. So. Yeah, I know, I know. I... To the west of the hut. All right, I just, I just want, I just want my crispy kelp. Okay, okay, that's that's all. How did my book not get destroyed when I was in the water? I just held onto it really, really tight. That's all. I can't break the barrel. I can't break the barrel to get more wood. I just, yeah, I just, I just held on to it really, really tightly. Come back here, you. There we go, dry grass. Another slim. Alright, how much dry glass? Dry glass. How much dry grass do I need in order to make a bed? Three. Alright, so I need nine dry glass. Dry, gl dry grass. Why can't I say grass? It'd be nice if I could get better, like, an actual, uh, like, greatsword or something. Or just some big two-handed weapon. Like, this dinky little, this dinky little, uh, stick. It ain't cutting it. I would much prefer something to do big numbers. Now we gotta go make some beds. You can't sleep. There's monsters nearby. There we go. Three straw beddings. Whoops. Alright. My OCD! My OCD! This is wonderful, Rosé. You made a bed for me and a couple for yourselves, too. You made three more levels? Nice. 
You have a good level idea for Mario Maker 2. Lava falls from the ceiling and kills you instantly. And you can only beat it if you take the hidden dev path. Taking a nap during the day will help to recharge our energies. Nope, after the sun goes down, we will while away the dark, uh, while away the dark and dangerous night in Dreamland. Yeah, but we don't have a roof. I wonder what Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder, with a builder on a desert island, no less. When the children of Paragon attacked my hometown of Rippleport, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood. You don't want to say because you don't want anyone to steal your idea. I'll forget the idea completely, so... You know, if that's any consolation. I stowed away on that cursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths. But I was caught before I had the chance to do anything. We all knew- we all know what happened next. Oh, Papa, Mama, I may be marooned on an island- on a desert island with these two lumbering lummoxes. Don't use words I don't know. It makes me feel stupid. But I shall survive. I pray that you watch over me in these trying times. I won't steal it. I'll change the idea a little so it's my idea. <laughs> Instead of lava falling from the ceiling, it's water. Anyway, thank you both ever so much for sorting our sleeping arrangements. It's been a long, hard day. I suggest we get some well-earned rest. Mission complete! Let's see now. We prepared the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, made me suffer. I do believe that's everything. I must say, it's a real relief to have a builder around, and judging by the quality of your work, one would never imagine you were still only learning the ropes. The level idea is just Minecraft. <laughs> imagine my shock, I invent Minecraft in Minecraft. I know we're stranded here, but in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more work to do, so that you might blossom as a builder. <laughs> the castaway life may be a little less luxurious than I am accustomed to, but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure. Also, you're a little sad, because Oops won't share his idea. As for you, Malroth, this could be a perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture, maybe even some manners. I don't want to be nice. I am not nice. Now then, Rosé, I want you to go out at first light every morning and forage 30 ske- <laughs> Fucking excuse you. Malroth, let's kill- Hold on. Oh, why is this so quiet, too? Why is everything I want to look up so quiet? That's all I wanted to look up. I want you to go out at first light every morning and forge 30 scallywinkles and 50 strips of kelp. It must all be cooked by lunchtime or I shall be cross. Lulu's demands come pre. Uh, because in Flash's Discord, everyone who's a mod in his stream is a moderator in his Discord except for you. You figure this out at midnight, which is today. Get upset. Demand mod. I thought Lulu might come down a bit once she got what she wanted, but she's just as big a pain in the neck as she was before. Still, I'm impressed. Despite all her nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. I wish I could do what you do. I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna teach him how to become more powerful, and he's gonna become the toughest final boss in video game history. Huh. Hey, Rose. 
Can I have a go at that workbench? I want to try and make it... Oh, no. Oh, no, it's already beginning. I've been watching you make stuff all day. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this, Rosé. I'm going to be a builder just like you. Even Acrocorn is mod in the Discord. Just demand mod. Absolutely nothing will go wrong from that. Now then, what was it you do first? What'd you do? No, that's not right. Do you need the book? Do you need the book? Damn it. Why isn't this working? It's make anger. You asked for it. Don't break the workbench. I need that. What did I do wrong? It doesn't make sense. Why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Good, I don't need you powering up for a super final form at the end of the game. Forget it. I thought making stuff would be all fun in games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Rosé. We won't rely on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as you made all that stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you even things out and made something for me. What do you want? Uh-oh. That's it! I've come up with a new recipe. Oaken Club. Can only be used by Malroth. Oh, come on. The one thing that I want. Is that for me? Why would I want with such a silly stick or a uh, silly old stick? Not just any stick, it's an oaken club. I can use it to whack stuff. That sounds right up my alley. Alright, I'll take it. Give it here. I want to use it, though. This really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Only one way to find out. Stand back while I give this beauty a few test swings. Ow. That's my face. I like it. No, I love it. Squishing slimes will be so much more satisfying now. And to think you made it using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. He's going to become too powerful. Thanks, Rosé. This club is the best present anyone's ever given me, I think. Rosé, can you feel that? Feel what? Some kind of evil aura. It must be coming from a monster, but whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw before. This could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. Uh-oh. I'm going to become the bad guy. Well, I mean, I already was. Like, I'm building up to the Zero Mortals plan. The monster's somewhere down the coast to the west. Come on, I want to break in my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. What if it's a slime? It doesn't have a skull. Did you ever think of that, Malroth? I need, I need nourishment. I need food. Consume. Oh, hey. There's an XP bar now. Consume. So do I finally get XP and level up? A group of monsters appear. There we go. Now I get levels. Take this. The Zero Mortals plan is now in full swing. And this is just the first step. High five! What was that? When you, struck, when you stuck your hand out just then, I got this irresistible urge to slap it. It's called a high five. 
It's something friends do to celebrate a job well done. I never thought of myself as the touchy-feely type. Maybe I can make an exception for this high-five malarkey. Anyway, how did you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling, feeling fitter already. Well, I don't have a great club. Rosé and Malaroth's level increased. Neat, I think. Malaroth gets stronger and Rosé reaches level 2. His maximum HP increase. Yeah. Felt good whacking that rat, right? It's like an irrit irritating little itch that's been uh, well and truly scratched. You're a mod as well. Don't forget you're a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to the construction, you can leave the monster mashing to me. You're going to do the mash? Still, building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do. But I guess wanton destruction is much more my bag. But I want wanton destruction. Zero mortals. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. She's a wily one, alright. Better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Rosé. I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together? Just you and me. Well, let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out any second. Push to compete. Defeat boss. Time to hit the hay. You think you know why you're not mod? Why is that, video game freak? Resting in a bed during the daytime will restore your health. But climb into bed at night and you'll go straight to sleep. And wake up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed the next morning. Uh, switch view. Oh my god, there's first per- Why is there first person? What's bird? Oh, that's just... Not actually changing the camera or anything. That's just a map. Hey, Robin. I'm still working on the Zero Mortals plan, so, uh... If you got more Goku Black remixes... <laughs> um, can I, like, move around this stuff? Like... Wait, but... What? Why does... Why does L do this? I... <laughs> I can headbang! <laughs> Alright, time for slip. One was something you recorded before you started learning to voice act. It was a Zamasu thing. A Zamasu line. And then, what's the other one? Are they both before you uh, were doing like the voice acting thing? Good morning, you two. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. Your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast from the... Eek! No! What is it, Lulu? A monster? Uh, one was more impersonating Hermaeus Mora. Hold on. What is this? I am Hermaeus Mora. Knower of the unknown. <laughs> keeper I see. Of the it's like you were trying to cover up the camera while you were recording it or something, because I can see, like, a blurred out something. Fatality vs. Nairo the Ganon Ditto. That's under the recommended for your thing. I don't know why. Alright. Plant gang. And now, what's this other one? This is your Zamasu thing, right? Oh, great holy wrath! Slice the wicked! That was decent. 
There's also Persona 5 Hungry Handsome Detective, and it's a picture of a catchy. Now I'm insulted. The other is Holy Wrath. It's my Skellywinkle. It disappeared. You ate it. Malroth, own up. I know it was you. I purposely only ate half of that seared Skellywinkle last night so I could have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant. What are you widowing on about? I haven't touched your manky, half-munched mollusk. <laughs> Perfecto. It's exclamation... It's exclamation mark SR. How did... Huh? That aura. What's going on this time? A pop opera uh, milk? Sir? Are you, hey, you two. Are you right? You're gonna want to see this. Uh oh. Don't overthink it, man. Just take There's one. the culprit. That monster oh, must have yeah, been the one who no, snaffled think, my scallywinkle. Thanks. I, I think I'll just come back for it. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. First Mary Scallywinkle stealing. Milk, 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 milk. Oh. Um. Why can't milk I do that? Cookies. I'll grab you some pecan cookies. These aren't pecan. I said pecan. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, what are you, deaf? I'm not deaf. Huh? It just took down the whole cliff. Nice you, Are those you steps? I yeah, why can't I do yeah, that? I can, yeah, this way, you I've young whipper, whip, whip, whipper snappers. You should try it. They're, they're pretty good. Back in my time. day, we didn't need a bench to build. Here you go. Oh. That floating freak go? can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? On second thoughts. On second thoughts, maybe it'd be able to tell us something right, about this done. island. Next up. Yeah, it would tell us oh, with its giant expired. mallet of death that just hmm. carved open a mountain. Expire. Rosé, Lulu, let's go after that monster. I've got some questions that need answering. Lulu's just gonna get angry along the way. These are stairs, but I have to jump up them. Pretty garbage stairs. All right, where are you? Give me back the Scallywinkle. This way, this way, quick, quick, quickly now. Akechi's palace would have been murderous. Well, yes, because he's a murderer. He can teleport too, this is cheating. Stay where you are, you freaky foggy. I like this one bit. That mad old monster's even made the sky turn a funny color. Oh, here's a new one. Who cares about the stupid sky? I want my breakfast, and you two are going to jolly well help me get it back. I'm going to get your breakfast back, and I'm going to throw it right into the ocean. Because I've had enough of you. It's just, he's just making me... I see the exclamation mark right there. Dude. What? Hey. Are there... holes in there? Cord. What's... Can I get in here? No, I can't. Darn it. I saw the hole in the wall. Imagine if Akechi revealed Loki earlier. Like, yeah, he just, like, while you're while you're in the group going through uh, Sai's palace, he just accidentally calls Loki instead of Robin Hood. This way, Kid Kid Kitty Winkles, nearly there. Will you stop? He's leading us on a wild goose chase. Does that horrid hammer hood expect us to follow him all the way to the top of the mountain? God damn it, I've had enough. Descend, Loki. Wipe this shadow from the face of the earth. Meanwhile, all the other all the phantom thieves are like, excuse me, what? 
The monster's got some kind of strange power. I never felt anything like it. We need to catch up. I want grass. I felt... I just felt the need for grass. camera just actually zoom out. This is kind of annoying that I have to like wait for it to zoom out after it presses itself up against the wall. Just very, very mad at catching noises. That would just be him like during, you know, the entirety of his boss fight. Whoa. Whoa. Phantom Thieves just watch as Loki one shot kills it kills the thing. Oh two treasure chests. What's a place like this doing on a desert island? Unless this isn't an island at all. Come on, Rosé. The Hammer Hood's just up ahead. Let's make it spill the beans on the, all the island's secrets. Well, first I want them treasure chests. I need the loot. Give me the loot. Oh, it's a hammer. There's no escape now, you sneaky scallywinkle swindler. Just hand over to bivalve and no one gets hurt. Guys, I want the treasure. Surely a noble lady can permit a hungry ham ham hammer herd her half snarch leftovers. I'll tolerate no excuses. Stealing is stealing, no matter no ifs or buts about it. Rose seared that scallywinkle, especially for me. Now give it back, you horrible hoary hairy hermit. Hoary? Any other shadows want to fuck with us? No? Good! No, he just gets he just gets even more mad and runs off to find more shadows. Ah yes, Rose. It just so happens that I've been waiting for a builder to rock 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 up here for oh, a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know he's a builder? Ho ho! You're an observant one, aren't you? Why, the very reason I pinched that scrum scrum scrumptious skellywinkle was to lure your fine friend up here. Man, for the chess. Look around you, Rosé. This temple has lain in this sorry state for longer than I can recall. If you are the builder I believe you to be, perhaps you can fix 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 it. Rosé the Builder, can we fix it? Rosé the Builder, no, it's fucked. Everything you need to rebuild the temp temp temple is right here in these chests. Yes, please, let me take it. But a fresh faced builder like you might be the going might eh, might find the going di di different difficult without a blueprint as a guide. I can't read. Come back here, you conniving old codger. If you think you're gonna fix if you think we're gonna fix your old house for free, you got another thing coming. Well it's not for free, he's giving us loot. What's a blueprint? It's a print that's blue, Malroth. What? Huh? What did I just do? Rose draws out a mountaintop temple blueprint. Total. Okay, so I need braziers and masonry walls. Rosé, why did you draw all these lines on the ground? Is that one of those bru blueprints the Hammerhood was telling us about? Never even been here before, but you were still able to draw up a design for the mountaintop temple. That's incredible. Now all you have to do is build it. Make sure you follow the blueprint to the block now. That old loony was telling the truth. Those chests should contain everything you need to finish the job. Looks like all you need to do is place masonry wall blocks and squares and put a bra brassiere on the on top of each one. Use your gloves to move them. If you make a mistake, use the gloves to get through. Are you ready to show Gary glows a lot? Gary glows a lot. How a real builder does things? Keep one eye on the blueprint and you can't go wrong. Oh well. More info about it. Okay. Wait. Okay. Give me the chest. Oh. 
Here I was thinking I was gonna get like a pickaxe or something so that I could mine some stuff. It's just, no, it's just the blocks. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. You guys are talking about things that I don't even know exist in Minecraft. How many updates did I even miss? Like, years worth, I bet. Malroth, get out of the way. There we go. I completed the Mountaintop Temple Blueprint. High five! Good work, Rosé. Finish the temple. The blueprint. What does a blast furnace even do? Does it just blow things up when they're done being made? They've added a lot. Well, yeah, I bet. Most of the last update I played, I don't even know. I don't even know what the last update I played was. So I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I don't even know exists. I didn't even break a sweat. I think I'll have to build me a palace next. How about I build you a grave? Answer me one thing, though. How did you come up with that blueprint in the first place? Converts ores to ingots faster? Ah. Wait, I think I know the answer. That big book on your back has everything you need to know to be a builder written inside. Adele versus Brittany. Toxic in the deep. Toxic in the deep? Bust it now, Rosé. The secret's out. So you might as well let me read it. Do you even know how to read? You won't? Why not? There's something the matter, Rosé. Gone all red. Wait. You don't have a mucky magazine sandwich between those pages, do you? <gasps> oh no. They found out about my necropara. There are smokers which cook food faster. Smokiness doesn't matter to me. I quit, quit the pipe down with a damp cloth and it'll be good as. Ho ho ho! Merry temple making! You finished repairing the temple, I see. I knew you would, would, wouldn't let me down. All it took was a glance and you drew up that blueprint as quick, quick, quick as a flash. You're a real deal, Rosé. A builder born and bread, bread, bread. Do you have to keep doing that? Camera hood? Oh. Let there be light. As a thank you for your hard work, 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 I'd like to give you a little present. Here, you deserve it for the crack, crack, cracking job you did. You made a stone cutter for nothing? I got hammer! Bash blocks to bits. Finally. 
silly old hammer? I thought you were gonna give me back my breakfast. He ate it. It's gone. Move on. That's a giant mallet. An indispensable item in the tool kit, kit, kit of any self-respecting builder. With that hammer in your hand, you can break, break, break blocks you couldn't before and gather even more materials. Also, I have another cor cor corking gift for you, Rosé. I'm sure you like this one. I give you this island. All of it. Every last block, block, block. I, the entire island. You give him the entire island? All he did was repair the temple. I also wasn't an asshole. Unlike some people. Wait, what's up with what's up with those with that thing with the hammer on top of it? This world was once home to a legendary builder. They came to this island, the Isle of Awakening, and sought to turn it into their very own piece of paradise. But now everything has crumb crumb crumbled. I mean it looks fine. All that remains is the ancient builders belief in bed bed bedded in the blocks beneath us. What if I just dig straight dig straight straight down the Okay, black screen. There we go. Long have I waited for another builder to come. One who can bring life back to this barren land, block by block, block, block. All you want Rosé here to do, uh, and you want Rosé here to do all the hard work, you don't even know what we're supposed to build. Things. Stuff. That's all. Just build literally everything. Really, we don't know who you are either. I bet this island isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, mine, mine. Remember, build this doesn't transfer to the real game. Yeah, I know. I'm still playing it for fun, though. You're heading to the nether now? <laughs> Don't attack the pigmen. Now you know, I'm the guardian spirit of this island, and what I say goes. Oh, it looks like you've just become proud over and proud owner of a private edit. You've just become the proud owner of a private island, Rosé. Are you going to take the, the offer? Absolutely. If you do accept, would you mind if I stay here? I really don't have anywhere else to go. I'll stick around, too. At least until I've got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. What do you say, Rosé? Will you take the island? It's a stomp, stomp, stomping good offer. I'm going to play it again. I mean, maybe. I will take the island. I just knew you'd make the right decision. Now we can begin work on... Excuse you. It's not going to be... This is why, this is why I'm doing the Zero Mortals plan. Lulutopia? I don't think so. Today we establish... You're included in the Zero Mortals plan now. Ho ho ho! You young upstarts, this island belongs to Rosé now. You should leave big 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 decisions like these up to him. Jorgen will die if you sleep in the nether. Also, the bed will explode. Now, Rosé, you must be itching to try out that giant mallet of yours. Come up here and see if you can break, break, break this wall behind me. There's an absolutely smash, smash, smashing treasure back there that I think you'll be very interested in. Hammers are perfect for bashing hard blocks. Yeah, I mean, he did just explain it to me. Let me, let me up. Alright, ZR. Give me that. Arid Earth. What is this? You call that a treasure? It just looks like a tatty old milk board to me. It may seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that notice board is in fact the portal through which a builder may peek, peek, peek into other dimensions. Oh, like the nether? Dragon Quest confirmed for a smash? Wait a minute. 
That's the closest we'll get to Goku in Smash Brothers. I'll explain more later. For now, just peer into the portal and marvel at the, all the knock, knock, knockout things you'll see, you see. Notice Boyd is where builders go to share their favorite snaps. Use it when you want to show off or need a spark of inspiration. Oh. You must create an account if you want to enjoy this game's online features. I... Okay, I agree. Connecting to online... Your account has been registered successfully. Alright. How many penises are there? Nature, cute, pretty. Why is there so many, like... There's two start out names already. Look. Well, that's like an actual, like, cathedral or something. Wait, does that <laughs> let go? Press A to let go. Huh. Can I just play the whole game in the demo? Probably not. I can't imagine they would actually let you do that. Ho ho ho, did you like what you saw, young young youngins? Oh yes, I saw the most wonderful photographs, and there were so many of them. I hope Rosé takes the time to snap a few himself. I can be his model. No, you can't. Not after the Zero Mortals plan. When do end, though? I don't know. And then you can post them on the notice board and share them with the world. You, the, you young, young, youngins, enjoy yourselves. Come and find me when you're done, done, done. I'll be waiting right out here. Say cheese. Open the menu with the D-pad. Or, no, plus. And press X to enter Snapchat mode. You can store up to 99 snaps in your album, which can be accessed from the miscellaneous sub-menu. Uh, snapshot mode. Uh, select expression. Oh, facial expression. Happy. Angry. Sad. Oh, oh god. Why, why does it do that? <laughs> okay, show everyone. Hide yourself. Hide everyone. What about only show myself? Everyone. There we go. Surprise, serious, normal, happy. There we go. I don't know what Sharp Shot is, but, uh. Take Snap. There we go. Blurry memories. Blur the background and bring the subject of your snaps into focus for the perfect picture. Once you've got your ideal shot, don't forget to save it. Uh. Focal point near, far. Yeah, okay, no. No blur. What if a demo game, uh, you the free game, like, what's the point of marketing it as a demo? Yeah, pretty much. You can change the color of your snapshots by applying a filter. I could post this on Instagram. Oh, rose tint. Alright, I took a snapshot. How do you like your new notice board? It's quite the snap snap snapper's paradise, isn't it? As long as you have one of those boards nearby, you can flout 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 the laws of space and time and observe the work of other builders whenever you desire. Wasn't that convenient? And you can put your creations on display for other builders to view, too. I'm sure you can see the, that the notice board is a soup soup super source of ideas and inspiration. Half of that was complete gibberish to me. But if it helps, uh, if it helps you build the palace of my dreams, I'm all for it. I ain't building your shit.
Your answer is 69. To what? Speaking of which, I can't see you making much progress on that anytime soon. There's one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way. Is it the demo? It's this island. There's hardly any raw materials, and I don't think even a master builder would contemplate constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. Ho ho ho, I know that little last last lassie. Yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna end the stream soon just because I need to get I need to start getting ready for work soon. There's only one way to get your hands on the materials you need track 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 them down elsewhere and bring them back here. Uh quest complete, but what do you mean bring them back here? Yeah, give give new quest. As the young damn damn damsel pointed out, this island is more than a little lack lack lacking in useful materials for an aspiring builder. Even if you had everything you needed, I doubt you'd make much head head headway with just the three of you. Wood and stone, stone, stone are all well and good, but what you really need is people! Uh oh. Online? You have to travel to other islands and bring back, back, back a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely rat rat rattling around on this big island all by yourself. A few fresh faces will really liven the place up. I wonder how terrible the online is for this. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get to these other islands without a ship? A top, top, top notch question indeed. And one that the heaven shall soon answer. You're just waning this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. Maybe. What's this? Oh. A ship. Whoever would have thought of that? Yeah, it just, it just kind of appeared. How convenient. How convenient timing. You're doing this on purpose now. Alright, out with it. Who are you, really? You can cut that guardian spirit rubbish. What makes you think it's rubbish? Well, to tell the truth, I can't remem remember who I am. I'm not even sure I ever knew. Oh good, we've got two amnesiacs. But I've got a funny feeling that it will come right back, back, back to me if I watch Rosé work his buddy building magic. There's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of that ship and get the work started. A new destination has been added to your map. Alright. So, we can just go. I guess I should test if there's actually, like, fall damage. And just jump. Doesn't look like it. There's a higher height. Oh! There is fall damage. You take damage if you fall from a high place. Conserve your health by descending little by little. Ow, okay. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Um, consume. Alright, so... Fall damage is a thing. Oh, I can... Okay, I have to switch back and forth between gloves and mallet. Oh boy. That's gonna get bothersome. Hello, good sir. Ahoy there, me briny bilge rats. I haven't seen any other humans for fathoms. The name's Brownbeard. I was... Are you clipping into yourself? You are. I was painting the ocean blue, minding me bee's knees. Me bee, minding me bee's knees. When I sailed right into the path of one of the children of Hargon's slave ships. I managed to avoid them, but only by steering into a terrible storm. A sort of storm that, you know, they ran into. By the time I realized my map was back to front, I was already stuck in a, in a coffee stain. I tried to turn back, but I was lost at sea. That's when I eyed this island on me port board bow and point bow or bow, whatever, and punted over. So what's your story? How did you young whippersnappers end up here? We were on the slave ship. My name's Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia. I will murder you in your sleep. Or at least it will be once Rosé here is finished with it. Mm -hmm. Lulutopia, eh? Huh? Sounds like a lovely place for land lovers like yourselves. Aye, and a safe haven for a salted old sea dog like me. The goddess only knows what would have been killing me if I hadn't sloshed up on these shores. Goddess only knows what this guy's talking about. 
Tell you what, if you let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. I'll ship you off to any island from here to the second stain on me map's backside. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of me neck. And I don't know me neck any at all. So then, so then we're just going to drift aimlessly in the ocean for all eternity then. But if you hear any of, of any islands nearby, I'll happily ferry you over. The boat's a bit on the small side, but it looks decent. It looks in decent nick. I'd say we got a deal. Oh, there's the hermit again. It seems everything is drop, drop, dropping into place. How convenient! Pretty much. The fine captain will take you to nearby islands, where I'm sure you'll find plenty of materials and able bob bob bodied helpers to bring back. First thing Lulutopia needs is a little greenery. The first thing this island needs is a mutiny. I can picture it now. Tree-lined boulevards, spacious parks, and tables sagging under the weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case, you should first visit Furrowfield, an island to the east, famed for its fertile fields and fruit, fruit, fruitful farms. The island is home to a young lass with a bright future in farming, and a dash dash dashing dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help your cause. I'll mark 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 it on the Captain Brownbeard's map. Just leave the sailing to him. This demo is really long. It is, like I said, um Nintendo demos usually give you some pretty a pretty decent amount of uh content. I mean it's not gonna, you know, save anything past, you know, when I woke up on the shore, but I mean the fact that it's even letting me continue is like pretty great. You heard a magic monster, Rose? Come on, come and find me when you're ready to go, and we'll weigh the anchor. It was five tons last time I checked. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, and sail. The demo ends here, young builder. So all I have to do now is just farm slimes. If you had ventured this far, perhaps you'd be interested in the full version of the game. Just don't think about... Don't think about pirating it. <laughs> Says the pirate. <laughs> the high seas and higher adventures await ye in Dragon Quest Builders 2. Would you like me to ferry you to the game bazaar known as the Nintendo eShop? Nah. Maybe another time. If you have third thoughts about it, give me a shout. If you change your mind, I'll be right here waiting to whisk you away. After all, the winds of change are always blowing. That's what you get when you have beans for breakfast, uh... Well, clearly, the next thing for me to do is just... Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. I was gonna try and just mine the island completely. Can I break those rocks then? Yep. There we go. Stone. But can I make anything with the stone? Or not, because I haven't come up with a new recipe. I'm just gonna... Oh. Oh. There we go. I made it up. Alright, well that's like perfect timing, because I was planning to end the stream pretty soon anyway. So, this is actually kind of fun. I might, I might actually pick it up later on down the line. Probably not when it comes out, but maybe later on. Because uh, this is, this is actually kind of fun. So, that's going to be it for me for tonight. For tonight, I say. It's 4.30. It's like a little bit after 4.30 for me. <laughs> So, uh, thank you all for stopping by. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day, evening, your night, whatever it is where you are. And uh, make sure you take care of yourselves, alright? Alright, then. Peace.